Well, like already, so this is more like how I would have preferred my first video for a YouTube channel would go, or for any other posting on any other social media. So yes, it's morning, we're up. I've fed and watered the critters, and now it's time to go uh, for a walk with Fluffy so she can have her potty break. Looks like the trash men made it. And it gives me a little chore to do. I'll do that when I come check the mail, maybe, or later. Some blue flax. And this is, ouch. Whoops, found that curb. Well, it's not really a curb. It's just getting worse. It's supposed to be like nice and almost smooth like this up here, but it's not. But anyway, I was going to say, this is what I like about this walk. And uh, I'm glad I didn't hurt my ankle doing that. So anyway, um, I'm Cheryl. <laughs> this is Fluffy, Princess Fluffy, Fluffykins, Fluffers depending on what's going on at the time. And so she has nicknames and titles, just like many of us do. She's actually my grandson, uh, Avon's dog, but he couldn't take her with him when he moved out, so I inherited her, and she's almost like a soulmate for me, believe it or not. She's pretty calm most of the time, easy to get along with, listens real good, she's pretty smart, as most Border Collies are, which is actually a recessive gene in her because her two parents were far from that, so one of them had a recessive gene, or maybe they both did somewhere in there, anyway, yeah, it's already hot out here, the heat index has been up quite a bit, so will you get a morning walk in? And we get an evening walk in, and that's about it. Okay, so, sorry for that abrupt ending of the previous video. Soybean field. Yes, there was traffic coming. I had a big truck coming towards me, us, and then there was this blue car that came flying up behind us that we had to get off the side of the road, of course, for both of them, and I bumped the off button here. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear all the insects and different things out there. Birds. I love listening to the birds. And we still have honeysuckle blooming. There, there's a smaller one there. Let's see if we can get that. And, of course, I have reflection, so I can't see anything. I'll take a picture. Maybe I'll add that. Oh, here's some down here. This is even better. I can't tell what I'm doing. I don't even know if it's taking any pictures. So, yes, sun is bright. Humidity still kind of up there. And of course, there's always a litter bug or two. So, on a, sometime I'm gonna have to come pick all this mess up because I don't know that anyone else walks this way but me. I mean, I'm sure there are every now and then stragglers or people on bicycles and such, but I don't know that they're gonna pick up trash. Otherwise, it stays pretty clean. It stays pretty nice. And it's pretty peaceful. And I hear a plane, but I don't see the plane. You can kind of tell it's kind of hazy out here. Not terribly. Not like smogish. But just the humidity. Oh, I see it way up there. There we go. I found it. Not that it's a big deal. Some part of the kid in us still. Oh, there's a little more trash. I guess I'm going to have to get me a bag and carry a bag with me. So I can pick this stuff up. And one of those gripper things. Maybe I'll use my uh, cooking tongs. Then I'll just wash and sanitize them when I'm done. Anyway, so that's basically that. 
kind of miss the old place, but it's so changed over the years. No more house, no more mobile home, and no more barn. But this was also the bee sanctuary at one time. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was weird that the chittering went away as I was making comments and taping um, recording where the um, mulberry tree is. Still a pretty good sized tree. And then there's still the pretty good sized catalpa tree. And I'm not sure what the stump back here to the left is. I don't know what tree that's from. Oh, some lilies. This is hard to do because I can't see because of the sun. I feel like I've got this backwards, but I can't see and tell, so it's just what it is. Hopefully those lilies show up in here. More than the trash, right? Not very many lilies left. I sure hope I have really old pictures somewhere that really show how beautiful this place was back in the 70s. There were flower beds. There is a building back here that they used to, uh, for like a kennel and raise dogs. And, and there was a big barn back that way. There was an old farmhouse and then it came down and there was a double wide and it's gone. A lot of changes over the last four decades. And there's traffic both ways. I gotta go.